The horrible eruptions of the Yellowstone supervolcanoes haunts the Earth. This is evident from the Yellowstone supervolcanoes eruptions in the past. In fact, part of the eruptions of the Yellowstone supervolcanoes has changed the geological conditions on Earth. The bulk of this eruption created the volcanic formation known as the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff. This eruptions released 585 cubic miles, 2450 square kilometers of molten rock and created a caldera measuring approximately 60 miles, 96.6 kilometers. The volcanic eruptions that make it one of the five largest volcanic events in history are nearly 6000 times larger than the eruptions of Mount St Helens in 1980. Yellowstone Volcanoes continues to be an active volcanic zone, as evidenced by its many geysers and hot springs. Vox correspondent Brad Plumer imagines if the Yellowstone supervolcanoes erupted again in modern times, it would be catastrophic. If the supervolcanoes under Yellowstone National Park had another major eruption, it could spew ash thousands of miles across the United States, damaging buildings, suffocating crops, and shutting down power plants. Wind across the United States. Nearby cities will definitely be hit. If there was an eruption similar to that of millions of years ago, Yellowstone would literally haunt the Earth. Its eruption is expected to cause short-term agricultural destruction. That's because the aqueducts are clogged with gray mud. Such an eruption would also emit large amounts of gases such as sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. That could certainly lead to a decade of climate cooling. Changes in rainfall patterns and severe snowfalls could lead to more widespread crop failures. Truly terrible, haunting people's lives on Earth. Even so, the Yellowstone supervolcanoes remains an endless source of apocalyptic fascination. Scientists say that the probability of a Yellowstone super eruptions in modern times is extremely low for at least the next few thousand years. <laughs>